Hey, Gut Fox here. We got Market Monday today. These Team of the Week packs just came out. We might talk about Team of the Week at the end if we can get through my Market Monday and the things I want to talk about that uh, if it's not too long by that point. Anyways, these Frost packs, they're still giving us Frozen Team of the Week packs that, oh, shop item not available. Okay, well, Frozen Team of the Week uh, bundle. So they're still giving us packs that give uh, these Frozen items. I really hope EA does add a frozen item set. I know their NAT can't really make any coins off of the frozen items, but I just hold a couple more days right before the six before making your final guy uh, because who knows what EA will do. I don't know if they just they decided to uh, cancel the whole promo due to the set glitch, but whatnot. Maybe just a couple more days hold those. I hope you guys made a lot of coin off the presents. Opening each day took my advice by buying them immediately as they dropped and then... Uh, Selling a little bit later. That was pretty successful for a lot of people. I made some scratch off of it. I hope you did too. Um, first, I want to talk about Man of the Month coming up. We talk about this every month. I'm a broken record. I've talked about it on Twitter, elsewhere. But uh, these Man of the Month sets. Oh, let's go actually. Redemption here. These mutt tips. You, I hope you guys do know these uh, mutt tips are in the game. The out of position things. But uh, you guys are probably experts by now on those. Anyways, man of the month, uh, milestones. So we're going to get milestones here. Double man of the month milestone Sunday. They just said double milestones. But uh, next Sunday, I'm guessing we're going to get uh, double team man of the month milestones. So those things should pr uh, probably go up uh, in price on Sunday. If you miss the initial rush of like the 5th or the 6th when they change over the team hero um, sets. So... These Team Hero sets, they end up, uh, you know, I don't know what's the Man of the Month going to be for January. I don't know. Let me know who you guys think are going to be the Man of the Month of January. But these Team Hero sets switch over. So the requirements right now for these Man of the Month are these Team Hero sets. We have 20 gold players. Now, we could get that to 25 gold, gold players in January. I wouldn't be surprised. Gold players would get a little bit of shock. Silvers. Bronzes, don't expect them to go up too much. But generally, silvers and bronzes go for a good amount on a lot of these teams. Um, and that's kind of the approach I want us to take here in this upcoming uh, month. Um, kind of like the shotgun approach I talked about before. Uh, buy gold players like under 900 coins, like 800, 750 ideally when people put up the, not the free agents, but the team players. Because we don't know who EA is going to put in this game and then make into like, say, a milestone or who they're going to put in that are good in the game. Like the Cowboys, we would we didn't know that Ronald Lear was going to get uh, Team Hero this month. But his his card created a huge demand for Cowboys. In previous months, I had players, you know, get the players that are rare teams. But the rarity doesn't matter as much as how good this player actually ends up being. So uh, I, I think you should get silver players under 500 coins, bronze players under 400 coins. And kind of stock up. I got 1,400 items. You know, um, quite a few, but a lot of those, like, competitive badges and stuff I just haven't used yet. All right, moving forward to the Elite Upgrade 89 to 90 overall setter. This is the 88 to 89 Elite Player. EA has done this every month where you can add in these 88 overalls to make 89. So we expect an 89 to 90 plus overall set, and a lot of people have talked about this since it worked out so well for us last month. Uh, basically... You want to stock up a cheap 89 overall players and make them 90s overall when this set comes out probably, I don't know, within the first 10 days of January, I'd assume. Maybe a little bit, maybe around the 10th or so, five days after the set goes live. Uh, but you can basically make some good scratch there. We, I said it last month, we were buying guys at 10 k We ended up selling them around 20 k uh, when that set launched. So be on the lookout for that. That's a huge tip for us. Uh, made us some scratch last month, so hopefully we can... Uh, Anticipate this upcoming month and some coin, getting some coins there. Team of the Year and Madden Superlatives. The new promos that are coming out. In Madden 16, we got Madden Superlatives on the 15th of January with our ability to vote on them on the 9th. So we can kind of see those coming. Um, so expect maybe if we do another one of those, uh, expect them in the next week or so. I thought Superlatives was a superlative promo last year. I didn't, I didn't really care for it much. It was just, it was just there. But Team of the Year, on the other hand, is something to pay attention to. It dropped on the 26th of January. And once that Team of the Year promo dropped, we were in for a crazy month. I'll do a quick recap of it. Uh, playoff Legends 
replaced regular legends. And with that, we didn't receive many new cards for the rest of the year. No more names or new legends come out once we hit the playoffs. Uh, Marcus Allen being the huge exception to that. And we might get a couple other this year. But the Super Bowl promo was February 2nd. So like a week after Team of the Year. February 9th, we got NFL Honors players. Two a day for a few days. We got new throwback and flashback players on February 11th. This would be great news for investors on Elite Badges. But EA will release packs the same day, guaranteeing as a bundle topper, a flashback signature, a veteran player, and really not uh, give us too much to profit there. I'd expect a new badge monster, too. So, actually, potentially, uh, we could ex get, expect some elite badge sprite. Uh, wow. Spikes there. Um, so, if we go back down to badge, um, right down here with uh, Jones, you know, it'd be really cool, actually, if they did release a monster that was actually a monster. This Rashad Jones. Wasn't even the best strong safety when he came out. Fitzgerald, uh, they ended up modifying his set, but he's just an okay receiver too. All right, so uh, the Super Bowl promo was the second. I talked about the NFL honors. Ultimate Legends were on the 13th of February. Position Heroes were on February 14th. All Rookies were on February 15th. New Final Edition Players were on February 17th. And those, um, those kind of promos, the All Rookies and Final Editions, Replaces Team of the Week and uh, Football Outsiders promos. Uh, so those are kind of like a wash between those two promos. They won't really sync the market. Just new promos come out weekly to keep the market in check. All right, we got the new patch on February 23rd. That patched the Mike Scrape Nano and many others. So let's hope for a patch maybe in, I don't know, a month and a half from now. Maybe we'll get another one before then. We got the Combine Warrior promo February 26th, March 13th. And, and then really after February... That's when I noticed my team went down 30 to 40% in price. It was crazy. Even with me ripping packs and adding people to my squad, the that month, that Ultimate Legend Position Hero combo dropped the prices tremendously on a lot of items. And Position Hero is something we can prep for. Last year it took an elite player plus a bunch of other players from the uh, position, like gold players, elite players, whatnot. And that's something we will... A look at. I, I don't know if we want to speculate beforehand, but it's something we want to definitely look at going forward because EA could change up the set requirements on us, and we don't know which one's rare. We anticipate being the elite player since it worked out so well last year, the, like the the highest elite at ba base elite at that position, like Aaron Rodgers. Um, the new, all right, March thirteenth, we get silver tickets, which if you pull one, you got any player in the game, and what I like to call the big one, golden tickets in packs on March twentieth last year which caused a lot of people ripping a lot of packs and a lot of disappointed people there. All right, and uh, the Easter promo, we got that March 23rd with the mystery eggs. A lot of people hated this promo because Master Night Train Lane was way too expensive, but I think EA learned their lesson on Master Sets, so I'd expect it on the Easter promo to be like uh, the gifts again where it's a mystery items. NAT, of course, because they don't want us to have fun. But... Uh, April 7th, we got our first golden ticket in the game. So it took a couple, it took quite a while between when we got the uh, tickets in packs and when we got our first golden ticket, I don't know, two or three weeks. Anyways, so it's a pretty crazy time of the year that we'll get here in Madden going forward from, well, not, not until team of the year, in my opinion. Team of the year in the uh, late January really kicks off the craziest time in the Muck calendar and one of the most exciting times. So it's going to be fun here coming up. I guess we can go through... Uh, team of the Week players, I wasn't really too, how do you say, impressed with them this week. We got the Steve Smith. I actually ended up buying Steve Smith, and you'll you'll see me on stream tonight using him. We got Robert Mathis. Let's see if they're all on the block here. Actually, we could talk a little bit about sniping these things. Let's go through the set first. So a good way of, of sniping these guys is new content added to the game, and then you just go through the set here. And really, once you buy them, then you go through the... Uh, players in your binder, and you kind of click on them. So, like, all right, Zach Ertz. So, we'll go through the Zach Ertz. Usually, the highest overall is the price setter for the hero. So, 58k, there's no snipes there. Uh, these things are being watched like a hawk by a lot of people. So, I don't anticipate too many snipes here. It's better with like the golds. All right, so 38k. I don't love Team of the Week players right when they come out because they're sinking dramatically in price. See how quickly that one is bought? Probably be listed like 42,750. Not going to turn any, any profit there, though. So these things aren't great when they come out. Once they kind of get settled and everybody's ripping packs from later tonight, they're a little bit better because their market price has been settled because this is just a little bit after they launched. And, yeah, they're taking hard. 16K. 
for the 88, uh, Matthews, Rashad. And uh, next up, Mr. Hicks here is 24K. So no snipes anywhere, but see how quickly they get posted. 59, 59, 56, 55. So these things are getting posted like crazy. If you want to uh, snipe hunt for the Steve Smith, he's got the playmaker. You can look for him that way. Uh, but anyways, those are good. The, the gold sets, oh, uh, sorry, I miss Gold sets are pretty decent to upgrade. You can add any of these guys in here. Um, well, add these specific guys. Let's go through 9,900. That's kind of expensive for mana packs. Like I said, later tonight. Not off the bat, but that's how you, that's how you get it. Things with a high turnover. Uh, you can snipe them because people are going to post them a little bit low, not knowing what they are. Snipe them and then buy them. 10,000? No, you're not going to make much of a profit on that. But there you go. That's for example. Uh, team of the week. I don't like any of these players. I, I look through all their stats. Marcus Golden, too slow at 82 speed. Blackshot's 86, which is okay. Not You can do better, like Jadavian Clowney or Barr. All right. Humphreys, 89 speed wide receiver. Um, solid. You know, nothing really right home about. But again, you know, budget baller. Next, Rex Burkhead. 86 speed at running back with a 86 elusiveness being his highest stat. That's a hard pass. Uh, Bethel, Justin, cornerback, 88 speed, 87 zone. No, you can do better than that. Hicks at middle linebacker, 87 speed, 82 block shed, not good. Yeah, that 82 block shed stuff. 87 speed isn't bad, though. I will say you could potentially use him with that field general if you get that up to 88. That's a pretty good card. Matthews. 88 speed at wide receiver. Let's go over here. Catch a traffic 92. Don't hate him. Don't hate him. Don't think he's going to be anything. He's only 6 foot. Ertz, 6 foot 5, 82 speed with 86 run block. That's a pretty decent card. 86 run block. A little slow, though. Actually, that's too slow for tight end, in my opinion. Tandy. Tandy has 90 speed at strong safety with only 82 hit power. That's also not a great 89 card. The limited, the defensive hero is Casey at 93 block shed, 95 power move. Nah. Well, actually, that's pretty good. Depends on what his price ends up being. Edelman is too short and too slow. Mathis, right outside linebacker. I got to click in to see his finesse and power move. Finesse move at 94. Actually, Mathis is pretty decent. A little on the slow slide at 85 speed, though, for right outside linebacker. He's got to jump the snap, which is terrible. And Steve Smith doesn't look better than Ken Brown. All right, those are my reviews of the Team of the Week players. Um, let's call it off Market Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I guess I will talk to you maybe tonight on the stream. All right, take it easy.